The Dane County Board approved next year's operating budget, which amounts to almost $790 million. Funding is always shifted around between organizations, but as Arman Rahman reports, it's a crucial time for the region's food bank to have some federal funding reduced. That's right, Eric and Charlotte. Second Harvest Food Bank's portion of American Rescue Plan funds was reduced more than $2 million, and the county's personal finance committee recommended that in order to fund other projects and organizations. But this happened as pantries in the county say they're they're having to give out more food than ever before. One of our largest days in our history, 145,000 pounds went out just today alone. Second Harvest has distributed more food in fiscal year 2023 than in its entire history. And Chris Tazelar says fiscal year 2024 is on track to surpass that. In order to make up that difference, we've had to do it with more purchased food. And so that obviously costs more money for us, costs more money for our partner agencies. The River Food Pantry in Madison is one of those partner agencies. Last year, this time, we had, had purchased about 215,000 pounds of food. This year, we've purchased over 300,000 pounds of food already. They say people across the county are seeing groceries cost way more, while what they earn at work is not keeping up. On top of that, pandemic-era government assistance is now gone. Uh, so far this year, um, we have actually served over 14,000 unique individuals. And this time last year, we'd served about... Ten and a half thousand. The week before Thanksgiving is one of the busiest at the river, so they're asking for more volunteers, people to host food drives, or for financial support to make sure they can help those in need struggle a bit less over the holidays. The need grows, but I love that phrase, the giving grows as well. But Tazalar says that need is year round. While six million in ARP funds would have gone a long way, he says Second Harvest is still grateful for the four million it's getting and they're looking forward. Our job is to do our work with uh, all the funding that we get. We don't, we don't like to focus on what didn't come our way. Uh, we really focus on what we do have so we can make the most out of those funds. Some county board members looked at Second Harvest's financial situation and believed now those ARP funds deserve to go to efforts like the Bayview Foundation's Community Center Project. A hard decision, but they say if all levels of government don't do more to help the most vulnerable. This is going to continue to be an argument every year. For more of a breakdown of the approved 2024 budget for Dane County, head over to our website, channel3000.com.